All right, let's draw Leonardo, baby version of this Ninja Turtle. And this is gonna be in the style of the new Ninja Turtle movie, Mayhem, or Mutant Mayhem. And this turtle is basically two and a half heads tall. So you can imagine there's two heads, or actually more like a third, and just about a third of a head tall. His feet will go down here. We're gonna start roughing in the head. You draw an eye over here. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. In fact, it's better if it's not because the style of this movie has a bunch of wacky and wonky angles. We'll come over here and draw this eye. And the eyes are about one eye spaced apart which is pretty standard. Draw the pupil. And we'll give him a kind of dorky smile here to show he's a nice little fella. Have the mouth coming up high on this side. A line that goes down. And then we'll shape some of the cheeks here. So the cheeks will come out like this. Just draw these angles coming out. We'll go over on this side and sketch out the cheek almost like a kind of like a like Play-Doh. Imagine these being real soft, but you can form it. It's kind of like sculpting with your sketch. All right, now we'll come up to the head and I'm just gonna sculpt the head with a few straight lines that come to an angle here. And this is just to capture, again, the style of the movie, which doesn't really have any perfectly round shapes. It's just a bunch of wonky angles that give it that quirky look. Now we're going to draw the front of the shell, which is like an oval shape. Comes around. Actually, first we'll draw a vertical line here. This will help us figure out how wide to make each side. So now we'll use that as a reference and draw a line coming up here. They'll tuck in under the cheek. And then we're going to draw a horizontal line about one third of the way down, just going straight across. And it can wobble a little bit. And then we're gonna come down here, and draw another line straight across at the two thirds mark. Now we're gonna draw a circle here for where his belt will say L for Leonardo. We'll just go ahead and draw an L here. And then about just underneath the top of the belt, so this is the high point of the belt, just imagine go down a little bit and we'll just draw a horizontal line across his belly for the belt. Now we'll draw the legs. So we'll come in here and draw a line coming down. Then go over a bit draw a line coming down like this and then at the bottom we're gonna draw a line coming out diagonally just a little bit and then a horizontal line going out a bit and then where this part is we're just gonna imagine coming out a bit draw a vertical line here and then connect this line to this line then just draw a rectangle by drawing this line coming out here then connect it down here you have a rectangle now we'll just draw in the very middle here a vertical line for his toes and then at this point we're going to draw a diagonal line and these lines are parallel this line is matching this line so then come over here we're going to draw a line coming down for the leg and a line coming down for that side of the leg 
Then a diagonal line coming out a bit. We'll do the same thing where we'll just draw a rectangle here. Then connect these lines. I'm just gonna erase this so we can see stuff a little better. Draw a vertical line to divide the toes into two. All right, now we need to draw the arms. So we'll come up here and we'll draw underneath the chin, a line coming out and curving outwards. And then another line down here coming out. And we're gonna attach the hands to this, drawing the thumb and then draw a curve here, horizontal line here, line comes up for the finger, and then finger number two is just right behind it, comes up and connects to the wrist. We'll go to this side, draw the shoulder and the arm coming down, then a line coming out for the thumb Then draw the palm and the inside of the finger, bottom of the finger, and the outside of the finger. And it wraps into here. And then we'll draw behind it the second finger that just you can barely see it. It's just tucked behind here. And we're just going to draw a little bit of the shell behind the shoulder here, the back of the shell. And just imagine this line continues and it wraps around. So following the angle of this shell, we're going to tuck it right back here. It's going to go all the way back behind the leg. And now I'm going to do the finished line work. I'm going to add in some scratches on the shell and then I'm going to do the coloring. So if you're working on paper, you can simply draw over your sketch and wait for your ink to dry and then lightly erase the drawing part and then color it with markers or pencils or crayons or you can draw on your tablet digitally if you're working that way and just create another layer for your line work and then create a layer for your coloring work. I have more baby Ninja Turtles coming soon and more Ninja Turtle drawings coming soon. So please like and subscribe for more.